how, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. Yeah, don't think it's strange, man. It's going it's happened to all of us. Don't think it's some some weird thing that you're catching hell. Where did you get the information from? We got our information from the apostles of Great Mill of, of Great Millstone. Where's that at? In in New York. We and then they taught us, they taught they teach they teach us, like they teach us, and then we go look it up for ourselves. Yeah, yeah through the spirit of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot. But those are our teachers. Hey, precept. This is Romans 10, verse 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? So, so how will you not hear without a preacher? So a man has to teach you upon earth. You have to learn and, and get built up until until that point in time where, yeah, you got to believe, like the brother said. So this information, y'all learned this in New York? We learned it in New York, no, right here. We said it right in front of you. We learned it from our elders that, that is in the elders before them that had that. It's in the scriptures. It's in the scriptures. Everything that we learned, it all correlates in the scriptures. What's told today as the Holy Bible. Can you get a detail? Deuteronomy 33. Okay, go ahead, get what you're going to get. Hold on, wait. This is Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? So do you do you believe in this? I'm asking. You you information. Yes. You're asking for information. Yeah. Now I'm asking where you where you find us at. The, but do you believe it? Yeah, Judah. How, how can I'm, I, I'm asking you. Do you believe it? Do I believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, I do. No, no, no. Do you do you believe in in what you see on that side? I don't know. That's why I want to know. Okay. I got. I got. I'll uh, This is uh, Acts chapter 17, verse 11. It says, "These were." more noble than those in Thessalonica, and that they received the word with all readiness of mind, and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. So basically, we learned this from our apostles of uh, Great Millstone, and, and unlike the churches, we actually go and see if it's true. We're going to search go and research the history, the, the, the artifacts, the, the archives, uh, uh, migration patterns, uh, uh, the transference of uh, uh, empires. All of this is documented in history and it's all also recorded in the scriptures when you match it up. So that's what we do. Kind of, that's what we go by. We go by the whole Bible. And, and, the, spirit, yeah. and the spirit and of the Yahweh Shem Yahshai, what's his name? Uh, Jesus. And we're going to get this in the, in the Bible. We're going to get where it where talks about this in the scripture. Because ultimately, if we if we break this down to you, we can't we can't make you believe you know, it's it's the the, the, the uh, spirit also the, the spirit has to be in you already from the Most High Heavenly Father, you know, that will cause you to believe in. You got it. Um, this is uh, you're not recording or anything. Uh, they say you can't record. No, you can't record. Us, you can take a picture of the sign and everything. Uh, this, is, uh, this is Ezekiel chapter 37, so verse 16. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah. For the children of Israel, his companions, been taking the stick. He's talking about uh, the tribe sign right here. I can take a picture of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You can take a picture of all of them. How you know this is coming? Look, we you ask this question. We are gonna answer this question first. Then we are gonna go to that. Oh, okay. Okay. It's all in the Bible. Everything you see out here is all in the scriptures. And then he's talking about the stick, which I think uh, the word stick in that scripture means plank. plank. And and that's this is the plank where it talks about. The, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Hey, just come back to the store. Now I want y'all to come back to the store right now. We could, we could. The store that... We ain't gonna wait for it. Yeah, 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 break down the scripture. All right, it's, uh, it's still the chapter 37, verse 16. I'll start over. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick, and write upon it, for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. Okay, then we'll take write, it. write upon it Judah and his companions, okay. and then we, Judah and his companions, then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the, the house of the, Israel. Joseph and the stick of Ephraim, which is all the rest of the bracket, because this is Ephraim, Puerto Rico. The rest of that bracket, he said, write a stick, write two sticks. Yep. Go ahead. And for all the house of Israel, his oh. companions. Uh -huh. And join them one to another. No, he said, now put them on one stick. Oh, okay. <laughs> now put them on one stick, which is this is the stick, what we're showing you right now. Right. You know, what stick? And you can use that as a plank. All right, Michael Wood, go ahead. 
but and join them one to another into one stick, uh -huh. and they shall become one in thine hand. Now, because they've been separated for so long, now, now you're gonna know when you tell somebody like these are all actual brothers. Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans are actually brethren. Is it dead or is it They're not African. Oh, this is my father. The, the Negroes, see, this is why he said Judah, Judah and his brethren, because these are so-called, the West Indians or the Jamaicans and stuff like that, they look more black. The uh, Judah is black American, look black, right? Then you go to Haiti, what they look more black. But then you go to these other tribes, they're more Indian looking tribes. But we in the world perceive that we're two different nations. No, we're not two different nations, we're one. That's why I said make it one stick. And through the scriptures, it shows how the Native Americans, our, our brother, these, these 10 tribes got over here. The, the Bible depicts it, yeah, and that's how it, it, it the, the Bible is so true that it tells you how they got over here, when they got over here, and, and, and it gives you correlation of what times that, like back in the day, when Solomon had his navy come over here which was the Israelite, which was from the tribe of Judah. So that's how he remember, knew how the course was because he had his navy come over here before every, the, the 10 tribes came over here. So, you got, you got more? I got a precept. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 25. Yahweh shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them right. and flee seven ways before them. He said, he said, our enemies gonna come against our enemies. He said we're gonna come. They will read that part again, so like Yahweh Yeh shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. So we what we smitten before our, the main enemy we know at this point is uh we know as a so-called white man. We're gonna come as and one they're gonna come, go ahead and read it. Thou shalt go out one way against them. So we're gonna all stand up in a troop ready to fight. Stand stirred, go ahead. And, and flee seven ways before so because, them. Why? Because the Spirit of the Lord came against us. We are not going to be able to withstand the wilds of this goddamn devil, the so-called white man. We're not going to be, we were, if we were ready in battle, we didn't, we didn't stay together, we, we fled. That's, that's what happened to all our incarnations and all the captivities and all the kingdoms that came that Daniel spoke about in the second chapter. Okay. Well, in, Rome, in, uh, in uh, 70 AD. Yeah, because especially in 70 AD. everywhere. <laughs> because uh, to, to most well, people don't believe that the Jews that you see over there are imposters. They took the nationality of the Negroes, Latino, excuse me, the Negroes, which is Judah, which is short for Jew, which is, if the, if the Lord was here right now, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, he'll be described as a black man, he'll be the black man. Because he'd have been on the slave ship brought over here. But that it wouldn't happen because it wasn't prophesied that was gonna happen. He was gonna get up there, they was gonna execute him, and he was gonna go back to his father. I, I, will. I got more on here. Okay. okay. It oh. says, and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. Right, and we are every kingdom of the earth right now. We are every last facet of the earth right now. We, there's no land that we shouldn't be in at this point. The Lord said he's going to scatter us in every nation. We touch every land. It's, it's Israelites that look like uh, other nations. Yeah, we got Israelites that look like other nations right here. Yeah. And if I can say something about the scripture that he brought out, he said they shall flee every way, seven ways. Every time we got took in that, that goes with 70 AD. Where 70 AD was when the Romans came up against the Jews and which are which they claim the Jews, which is just Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, which they just claim the Jews in all together. Which they said, uh, what's that in uh, Jeremiah 14 and 2 that the that uh, Judah is is uh is black. black yes, yep, because Judah Judah is a so-called dark-skinned people. They have dark skin. The ground, the best part of the ground is brown or, or, or dark or dark, dark. dark. Yeah. It's not. It's that's how you know that the real Jews in that land of of you got Jews over there, which they call themselves Jewish. Which Jewish just means pertaining to. They're not the real Jews. Yeah. Yeah, that's this, what. This that's what. Uh, well, we already. Knew. That's what they already taught us, though. They taught us that when we was growing up. Who, who taught you who that? Taught you that? They said in the Bible. It said a lot of people Precept. converted into Judaism when Jesus. When they came over, some converted to Jews, some converted to Christians. 
No, those were the ones. Those when, were Greek people. When, when, no, no, they, they attached themselves to the family's last name. They weren't Greeks. They were Israelites. That's a whole. That's a whole. That's a whole other thing. Yeah. I don't know. The, the gen, I'll tell real quick, that, and then we can get a scripture on it. The Gentiles that that the that people converted unto who you call it Jesus. Those weren't Greeks. Those weren't so-called white people. Those were Israelites that converted unto Greek customs. Because if you go in the Book of Matthew, if you uh, if, uh, like, do, do you know? That, do you know? Because the the main person or the main uh, tribe of people that converted into Judaism, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, to keeping the customs of the Jews were were uh, the the Herodians. Right. Do you know who the Herodians are? Right. In the Bible. Yeah. Do you know who Herod is? I thought he was. Uh, I thought he was also Jewish. Herod wasn't a Jew. Herod was from. Herod was was uh, Edomite. Now, when you go, there's a, there's a book called the Apocrypha, and the, in the Apocrypha, these are 14 books that were inside. This, if you go inside the King James 1611 Bible, they're they're in there. The 14 the 14 books of the Apocrypha. There, there you go. So there's a remember Daniel prophesied about uh, four kingdoms being set up: the, the Babylonians, 